Hello everybody. This is going to be a video to show you how to modify your website. At this point, you should have already created your account using your school issued email, your school issued password, and chosen your template and made a copy of it, saved it using your uh, using World War II website last name and period as one word, and then published it and ready to go. Now, we are going to go over many different things here in terms of everything you'll need to do, all the skills you need to learn in order to complete your website. So we're going to start with modification. Everything on Wix.com and on these templates can be modified. That's one of the great things about it. So hopefully you chose a template that already looks kind of like what you want. But all you got to do is click on something and it can be moved around. So we click on this and it can be moved around. If you click on the delete button on the keyboard, it goes away. This is too big. We hit the corner and hold the, uh, the mouse button, go to the left, and it can be shrunk. Uh, this, I don't want to hear, so click on it, delete. This, I want it to go to the left, hold the mouse button, drag it to the left. All right? This, uh, I want it, but I want it to be more, so I'm going to click on it here, right under that, and then I'm going to drag it to make it a much longer one. This, I'm going to turn into my uh, name, so I'm going to click it, and then it's going to come up with it, and now I can type it, created by, and then Carbohol. But I don't like that font, so I'm going to highlight. And over here, you see, are the options. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to change the font to Helvetica Bold. I'm going to change it to size 61, maybe 62. Because it's so big now, it has been moved into two lines. I just have to drag this to the left until there's enough room for one. Then I could have it all there as well. So... I'm going to change it to my World War II website title, so let's click this, World War II. And then website. All right, but I want this to stand out from this one, so let's change the color and the font. So let's go to make this red. Um, let's change it from that to this, and let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, so there you go, World War II website. I have a little, uh, let's make this purple. So you click on it, let's make it green or blue. There we go. And now we put created by right over here. And this, see how there's a big old gap? All you got to do is raise it up and it goes right up to where it's at. Okay, so that's the modification. Everything could be modified. Um, if I don't want this here, just hit delete and it goes away. So it allows you to modify everything exactly the way you want in terms of uh, everything. Um, you can change the page design, the page background. So if I want to change the page background and I want to put this in, see it goes to that. Um, if I want a different color, I want red, it goes to that or to that. Right? So you can modify it to make it look like anything you want exactly the way you like. Um, so we're going to stick here and get rid of that. All right, first thing I'm going to ask, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to add in uh, different types of writing boxes. Everything that you need to add in is right here on the add. So you're going to add in, and it's going to say text up here. Let's do a heading. So I'm going to click on that, and there it is. All right, so let's do introduction. All right, I don't like that color. Highlight it. Let's change it to uh, this yellow one and let's make it bold and so on all right so everything could be designed and set up to where you want it drag it make it bigger uh make this one go down further anything could be added on so that's a title right you could use this to make the captions on the pictures you could also add a paragraph same thing go to add go to text and then you got to scroll down and there are the paragraphs so choose one let's put this one throw it in there you drag, and then you can make it bigger. Now, here's the thing about these paragraphs. All right, so you're going to highlight, and you're going to start typing. Blah, 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 all this stuff. All right? Okay, so at this point, you've typed in a whole paragraph, and you're like, you know what? Let's, let's make it the way I like it. So I'm going to change the color to white. All right, so it's going to be white writing, so it stands out on the blue, on the green background. Um, I want a different font because I don't like that one. So let's go down and let's choose lobster. All right. And I want to make it a little, I want to make it bold and I want to make it bigger. No, maybe that's too big. Maybe let's make it uh, that size. All right. 
So now you've modified this, and if you drag this, it should come over to the way you have set it up before. You've modified the paragraph. You have it exactly the way you want it to look like. Now you're going to have to put in three more paragraphs or four or five, whatever paragraphs. If you want this to stay the same, but you don't want to have to change um, the formatting every time you add a paragraph, all you do is click this, hit right-click, hit copy, right-click over here, and hit paste, and the paragraph pops up again. And now you have a copy of all the formatting. Then you just highlight, click on it, you highlight, and you start typing your new paragraph. But it comes with all the formatting already. You don't have to worry about changing everything like you did the first time. right? So there you got two paragraphs with the same formatting, the same color, same everything, and you just have to copy and paste copy and paste the box to keep on making your new paragraphs. All right. Um, so if I was going to do a caption, uh, oh, I will come back to that later. All right. Next one is images. So the same for images, you're going to click here and you're going to add and you're going to go to image. All right. And when you click, you click here twice. All right. Now that opens up your image bank. Now these are all images that I've uploaded on websites that I've done through over the years. For you, when you click here, it should be empty because you don't have any images. So at this point, hopefully, you have already gone through eBay. I mean, eBay um, through Google Images, and you've bought a whole bunch. You've gotten a whole bunch of images, and now it's time to upload them. So all you do to upload the images that you've already looked for and saved on your computer that you want on your website is you click Upload Images, and then it's going to choose ask you where you want to get it for. I'm going to get it from here in World War II website, and I'm going to upload this one. All right, so I click on it and hit Open. And it starts to upload the file. Once it's done, you'll see it in your bank now. So see, I'm done with it. And see, so you can highlight any that you want. But I'm going to take this one, not that one, and then I'm going to say Add to Page. And it is going to. What happened to it? There it is. All right. So you can get rid of one. Now, obviously, that is way too big because of. Oh, by the way, see everything, all this extra stuff on the bottom? You don't need this. This is for, for the original website. Click on it, delete. Click on it, delete. Click delete and make it to where it's only for your website. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this here. But it's too big. So I click it here, drag the mouse button, and you make it to the size that you want. So I want it that big. All right. Uh, now, the same way that you made a copy of your paragraph, you don't have to keep on adding pictures. All you got to do is hit copy. And then paste it over here, and a, a, another version will come out. Double click it, and it takes you to your pictures. And if you've already uploaded other pictures, you can click on it, and there's the picture now. Maybe this one is a little, needs to be dragged out or made shorter, whatever it depends, but you already did it. Now, again, if you're going to add a caption to your images, you could take the caption that you, like this one that we turned in, like there's a uh, title, you could drag it down there, or you could say, let's do copy. And then let's paste it here and you go put it right under like a caption would and then highlight instead of introduction I you saying this picture this picture represents the propaganda that the United Kingdom used to survive the Battle of Britain. All right, and there you go. There's your caption. It's too big, you highlight it, and you shrink it down. That's too little, so let's shrink it down to maybe about that size. All right, it, because it's, it's too much to the right, you highlight it, you drag it to the left till you find the box, and there you go. There's your caption. All right, so you've added paragraphs, you've added captions, you've added titles, you've added pictures. The next thing we're going to go, uh, add is videos. So this is going to be your YouTube videos. All right, these are the ones that could, that's going to be on the Pearl Harbor tab. So let's go to YouTube and type in Pearl Harbor. And let's see what comes up. All right, and let's say we're going to put this very this one right here. All right, Pearl Harbor, that one. So you click on it, and you're going to see the video. We obviously don't want to see the video here. So we're going to pause it, and then all you're going to do is take highlight the URL, right-click, and hit Copy. Now we go back to what we're doing. You're going to add, 
you're going to go to video, or add video, you're going to go to YouTube, and you're going to click on it, and the video pops up. You double click it, and it asks you right here, what video do you want to put in? You hit delete, that's the old video, the one that you see there. You right click and hit paste, the one that you just copied from there, and then you hit enter. And when you enter, the new video pops up, the one that you just did. All right, so that's the same one that you got over here. You just copy the URL and then you changed it. So you put it here and then you can make it bigger if you want it to be bigger. Now, one thing that I should keep in mind is as you're making changes, you should always constantly go and hit save. Because if you do a lot of work and then for some reason the Wi-Fi goes down, all the work that you did will go away. All right, next thing that I want to show you, oh, and by the way, the same thing that works for the other ones, um, copy and paste. And you get a copy of it. See the same thing, all right? You double click it, and then you can change the link to whatever the other video you want. All right, there is that one. The next thing I want you to show you is how to add a linked box. Um, a link box. Actually, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to add a menu. So we look up here. There is no menu. So you're going to go to Add, and you're going to go down here to Menu. And then you're going to choose one. So I'm going to choose this one. All right, and drag it here. There's my menu. So now I'm going to put it up here where the header is to so make sure that it's not part of a web page. Uh, but see how it's covering that? So I could drag this a little further down. I'm not, I'm going to move that up. And let me drag this down. And then I could make it fit. There it is right there. Now, in order to modify this menu, you double click it and it comes up with. Um, the options over here. Now I only need four, so I'm going to go to this one, click there, and hit delete. Yes, I want to delete it. I want to click here and hit delete. Um, and hit delete. This one, I want to click this one, double click it, and make it Pearl Harbor. Click this one and make it uh, America at war or World War II, whatever it's supposed to be, and this one, D. Day to end of war. All right, those are my four tabs that I need. Um, now, in order to go to each one of these pages, because this is all in my home page right here. So, if you go click here, it takes you to my home page, which I was working on before, and see how it changes the color. Um, but I want to go to my, uh, I want to work on my, on my Pearl Harbor tab. So, this is my Pearl Harbor tab. It's brand new. So, I got to delete some of the stuff that's already there. And now I'm going to add the link box that I was talking about. All right, so the link box, you go to add, and it's actually called a button. You go to add a button, and it gives you these options. So there's different designs. Okay, I want this one. And you drag it over, and there's your, your box. You could go over here, make it a lot bigger. You double click it, and then it lets you type what do you want to call it. Um, this is going to be the link box that's going to take you to uh, Atomic Bombs. So Truman and the Atomic Bomb. All right, <clears throat> so now you've created it. Now you want to add a link to it. So you're going to go to your, um, you're going to go to google.com and you're going to go to your drive. So you should be logged in and you're going to go to your drive. As soon as this opens up, you go to your drive by clicking here on the this box with the different programs. Oh, great. Let's go back to Google since it messed up. All right, great. The internet's down now. Let's try one more time. Let's go to the link boxes. And you go to Drive. And once you go to Drive, you will go to New. You'll go create a Google Doc. And once you create a Google Doc, you got to title it. So this is what you're going to do for the, both the one for the propaganda and the atomic bomb. So you put Truman and the bomb, right? Once you title it, you got to share it. You go to share. I don't want you to share it with me. You go to advanced. You change this from public. It's from private to public. And that means that when I click on it, I could open it. If you skip this step, when I click on it, I will not be able to open it, and you will get a zero for that assignment. So you highlight the URL, right-click, copy you go back to your website you double click the button and right here where it says add link you said i want to add a web address link you paste it 
and you hit done. All right, and you're good to go. If you ever want to find out if something worked or not, you go to preview mode and it shows you what it looks like when it's a website. And if I want to see if this actually goes to that document I created, I click on it and there it is, Truman and the Bum. And you will be writing your response here of whether you thought it was justified or not in eight to 10 sentences. All right, hopefully you understood what's going on and that's it for our video. If you need any other help, let me know after school.